Look up at the night sky. Each star is a sun, a powerhouse of cosmic energy. Now, look down at the earth. We stand before the Great Pyramid of Giza, its stones reaching for the heavens, and we ask, how? How did people, without modern tools, build something so massive, so precise? Imagine standing in the silent ruins of Harappa in the Indus Valley, a city planned with geometric precision over 4,000 years ago. These were not accidents. They were the result of careful observation, of understanding the fundamental laws of physics long before they were written down. This journey into the past is like assembling a cosmic puzzle. We find clues in the chisel marks on a stone block, in the alignment of a temple with the stars. These clues tell a story of collaboration, of shared knowledge passed down through generations. So, let's embark on this voyage. Let's peel back the layers of sand and time to explore the minds of these ancient builders. They were astronomers, mathematicians, and artists, all rolled into one. They built their world with muscle, mind, and an unshakable belief in their own ability to shape their destiny. Their legacy is written in stone, and it invites us to wonder. Join us as we uncover the secrets of our ancestors. How do you move a stone block that weighs as much as an elephant? You outsmart it. Simple machines, levers, rollers, ramps, and pulleys, multiplied human strength and made the impossible possible. Rollers let workers move massive stones across the ground with ease. Ramps lifted stones high into the air, shaping wonders like the pyramids. Pulleys and block and tackle systems let a single person lift incredible weights. Each tool, from lever to chisel, was an extension of human will. These innovations transformed the world and still inspire us today. The story of technology is a rich tapestry woven from many different threads by many different cultures. Each society faced unique challenges and had access to different resources, leading them to innovate in wonderfully diverse ways. In Mesopotamia, the Sumerians became masters of brick-making, building colossal ziggurats from millions of mud bricks. Meanwhile, the Egyptians focused on stonework developing quarrying and stone-moving techniques to a level of perfection that still baffles us. Their pyramids and temples were astronomically aligned with incredible precision. In Mesoamerica, civilizations like the Maya and the Inca built magnificent cities and temples without metal tools. The Inca mastered ashlar masonry, cutting stones so precisely that they fit together perfectly without mortar. The Romans, master builders of roads and aqueducts, engineered a network of incredibly straight, durable roads. They perfected the arch, allowing them to build bridges and aqueducts that carried fresh water to their cities. These diverse paths of innovation showcase the incredible adaptability and creativity of ancient societies. An invention as revolutionary as the wheel seems like it should be everywhere, doesn't it? But the history of technology is full of surprises. The wheel was invented in Mesopotamia, but wasn't used for transport in the Americas due to environmental challenges. The spread of knowledge in the ancient world was slow. Ideas traveled at the speed of a person walking or a ship sailing. Sometimes knowledge was deliberately kept secret, like the techniques for producing silk in China. The ancient Greeks invented the Antikythera mechanism, an astonishingly complex astronomical calculator. They even developed a steam engine, but it was treated mostly as a curiosity. This shows us that progress is not inevitable. An idea needs fertile ground to grow. The absence of a technology in a particular culture is not a sign of failure. Instead, it tells a fascinating story about that culture's unique circumstances and values. The path of innovation is a network of countless branching paths, and not all of them lead to the same destination. It is a lesson in how different environments shape different solutions. Let's explore the monuments to the cosmos, pyramids, roads, and cities of wonder. These structures are a testament to human ingenuity and the diverse paths of innovation. Let's travel back in time and visit some of these incredible engineering feats. Our first stop is ancient Egypt, at the base of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Made of over two million limestone blocks, it is aligned almost perfectly with the cardinal directions.
Now let's journey to Stonehenge in England, a sophisticated astronomical observatory. On the summer solstice, the rising sun aligns perfectly with the main axis of the stones. Next, we fly to the Indus Valley, to the city of Harappa, known for its urban planning. Harappa had one of the world's first urban sanitation systems, with private bathrooms and covered sewers. Finally, we land in the Roman Empire, where roads like the Appian Way connected vast territories. These roads were built straight, designed for the swift movement of legions and messengers. These engineering marvels are a powerful symbol of how engineering can create and sustain civilizations. They remind us of the incredible achievements of our ancestors. War has always been a powerful driver of technological innovation. The need to defend a city or conquer an enemy pushed ancient engineers to create machines of incredible power. One of the most fearsome inventions was the catapult, capable of smashing through walls and fortifications. The Scythian bow, a composite bow, was incredibly powerful and accurate, making the Scythian horse archers feared. Defense was just as important as offense. Cities were protected by massive walls and complex gatehouses. The great walls of cities like Constantinople were so well engineered that they protected the city for a thousand years. The Roman legions were an engineering corps as much as a fighting force. They built fortified camps, bridges, and manipulated the landscape for strategic advantage. From siege towers to disciplined formations, engineering was at the heart of ancient military might. These innovations highlight the role of engineering in shaping the course of history. Let's explore how taming water helped build civilizations. All great civilizations are born from water. The ultimate engineering challenge was controlling this vital resource. In Mesopotamia and Egypt, farmers dug canals to carry river water to fields, transforming barren desert into lush farmland. This food surplus allowed societies to grow, leading to the formation of the first governments and laws. Different cultures developed different solutions for moving water. The Egyptians used a shaduf, a simple lever system, to lift water from the river. In Persia, engineers created the Kanat, a gently sloping underground tunnel that carried water to dry areas. The Romans built aqueducts to supply their massive cities with fresh water. When the channel had to cross a valley, they built magnificent arched bridges. This mastery over water was a statement of power and sophistication. It allowed cities to grow to unprecedented sizes, becoming vibrant centers of culture and commerce. Let's explore how organizing labor enabled monumental tasks. These achievements remind us of the power of collective human action. The greatest machine of the ancient world was the human engine, the coordinated labor of thousands of people. Building a pyramid or a Roman road required impressive project management. In Egypt, the work was done by free citizens, not slaves, as a form of civic duty or religious devotion. These workers were housed in purpose-built villages near the construction sites. They were paid in rations of food, beer, and clothing. In other societies, slave labor was common, a darker side of ancient engineering. Regardless of the laborer's status, the key was organization. Work was broken down into specialized tasks, with teams for quarrying, transporting, and shaping stone. This ability to divide a monumental task into smaller parts and coordinate a vast workforce was crucial. It was the power of collective human action. Their grand structures are monuments to what we can achieve when we work together.